Okay, I wanted to do a quick video about my hair isn't its noise. Let me do a little spin. You can't really see it, but it basically goes down to like my mid back. If I swing it back there. You can't really see, but mid back, but anywho, I wanted to make a video on how I um my prep. It's not gonna be more like a tutorial, it's just discussing, you know, my single leaves first and how I maintain them, things like that. Okay, so let's start. I washed and blow dried my hair first after wearing a twist out for about two weeks. Um, I twisted my hair for one week and untwisted it for about a week. Um, I only blow dry my hair because I felt like it would be a lot more better. And my hair isn't long enough to put a bun. Like a lot of people could put a bun in their hair and stretch it that way. I can't. So I said, let me just try to do um, the blow drying thing, which most people do. I'm not sure how it would have turned out had I not blow dried my hair or, you know, just stretched it without heat. I'm not sure. But, you know, next time I'm going to try it because, um, Okay, so first, after I um, wore my twist out, the day before I decided to wash, I finger detangled my hair using um, coconut oil and um, olive oil. I use regular extra virgin olive oil. I am going to buy some regular olive oil because extra virgin olive oil is very expensive. And I've only been using extra virgin because I use, I pour about half of it in my mixtures. And the other half I use for cooking, so it's not really, like, going to waste. And my coconut oil I've had for about two or three years now, I got it from VitaCost.com. And um, it just says Gerald Formulas. It's supposed to be organic. Only thing, it's expeller pressed. It's supposed to be cold pressed because it's a lot more natural that way. But I got expeller pressed. At the time, I didn't know that. And it's just regular coconut oil. So I figured to tangle my hair. Um, then the next day, I co-washed my hair. I didn't con um, shampoo my hair because I was going to be blow drying it. And I felt like I didn't want to shampoo it. I'm putting, you know, the twist in. I don't know. For some reason in my head, I didn't think it would go well. So I co-washed my hair using my Tresemme um, Flawless Curls Curl Hydration for curly or wavy hair. It's not the Tresemme Naturals. I know I'm supposed to try it, but I haven't purchased it yet. I will. I mean, one of these days. I will. Um, after I did that, I washed it twice because I had something in my hair. I think I put a lot of um, oils and different um, gels and stuff. So I had to co-wash my hair like two or three times to get all of the, the gook and stuff out of my hair. So that was that. The next thing I did was I finger detangled again, but because I had did the first um step of finger detangling before I washed it was so much more easier to finger detangle and I don't have what I wanted to try which is not today um so I used my Cantu Shea Butter which came out pretty well I finger detangled again and made it a lot easier because my hair had been in the twist out and it got kind of clumpy so that made it a lot easier after I finger detangled oh excuse me it was time to blow dry and so I had to section off my hair I might show some pictures here. I had to section off my hair um, into about, I don't know, a couple of sections, like about 12 or 13 sections. Um, that's easy for me to blow dry my hair because I can't just blow dry it. It's just too much to do. So I have to separate my hair a lot. And I used my Dudley's Cream Press as my um, heat protector. I used to use this when I used to straighten my hair and curl my hair with a curling iron or flat iron. I mean, it has some stuff in it that, you know, is not, like, natural or whatever, but that's all I have. And when I blow dry it, so far, it's made, left my hair nice and it smells good. And it's, um, Deli's Q Cream Press, pressing oil. And like I said, I've been using it for a very long time, for a couple of years now. 
Um, after I blow dry my hair, I used low settings. Um, you know, regular blow dry. My blow dryer is jacked up, so I am not gonna put that on camera because it looks like somebody like. I look like something I got at the thrift store and it just fell apart and I've had it for about six to seven years and I need a new one I want the quiet ion technology made by like Conair or something I want that one one day I'll buy one but for right now that is what I use the comb the teeth and the combs are all jacked up which I can really just go buy a new comb but you know I'm cheap y'all okay so that's that um after I blow dried my hair I felt like I had just washed it. I had, you know, did all this maintenance to my hair. I didn't want to have it be damaged putting the, um, the twist in. So instead, I waited until the next day to put the twist in. And so it took me, so this was on the 4th of February. Today is the February 11th. So February 4th, I washed and did all that stuff. Then the next day, on the 5th, I started twisting. And I started in the back. Yeah. And either way, I, it took me two days to do. Um, a lot longer had I made them smaller, but I made them about not even medium sized. Um, it wasn't that bad. I did the techniques that I've seen in the videos. I braided first and then twisted. There is a way that you can just twist from the roots. I don't know how to do that. It's very complicated, especially when you have long nails. And... I was going to cut my nails, then I said, why would I cut my nails just to twist my hair that way, you know? I decided to do the twist myself because, number one, I am very cheap. If I can do it, then I want to do it myself. Secondly, um, I'm very wishy-washy when it comes to hair, and I don't want to pay someone a hundred and something dollars to do my hair and take it out within a month. That's like a waste of money, in my opinion, for me. I don't have that kind of money to just give away or whatever. So, that is that. So, I went through the videos on YouTube. There's hundreds of them on there. And I look for the easiest method that show a close-up. Because a lot of them are so dark, you can't really see what they're doing. But I was able to find a lot of techniques that were very close-up. Um, is the hair that I use. It's um, by Sensational Braid Now line Fiber Jumbo Braid. Now, you can't probably see, but I use two different colors. My hair is like a 4, 4B, and so I bought a 4, like three packs of uh, the 4 color, 4, and um, I wanted to do some type of weird color because I like color, and I'm, I've never dyed my hair before, so buy it when I do weave sometimes or any type of extensions. I want it to be multicolored sometimes. A little bit outrageous, but that's as close as dyeing my hair as I'll ever become. So, I bought like a reddish color, which was the same brand, M350 slash 1B, which I'm guessing 1B is like off black. And you can't really see it, but it's like a reddish, it's really like a reddish color. Um, and I put that sporadically throughout my hair. It's not on every single braid and I mixed it and um I only bought one pack of that so I bought three packs of the brownish color and one pack of the reddish color and I was I had a lot of hair left over I thought I was not gonna have a lot of hair because I have a, a lot of hair to cover so I was really like oh gosh I'm gonna have to go outside and go to the, the beauty supply store again but I didn't. I was lucky. And I still have a little small chunk left over, which I'll probably use for a bun or something someday. Um, and then after I twisted up my hair, I did the same method, put it in the hot boiling, scalding hot water. Um, it came out really well. Now, as far as every night or every other night, I use my olive oil and I put it even on the extensions because sometimes with like... Um, this is fiber it's not human hair um so it i don't want it to get like a weird smell so i use my um olive oil mixture and i put it throughout my scalp um i use my eco styler gel olive oil brand to put on my edges but other than that i love it i just put it up in the top bun to go to sleep in because it's the only way i can go to sleep 
otherwise my hair will be looking all crazy in the morning but it came out really well and I love it it's um different I will do this again if not the, the um singlet twist I'll definitely do box braids with extensions so it it came out for someone who's done it this, this is my first time it came out really really well and I'm very proud of myself like I said it took me about two days to do because I kept stopping you know I gotta eat and you know live my life so it took me about two days to do but other than that it wasn't a hassle at all to do right now I just have it like twisted up you can't even really see it but like I said it goes down to like my mid Botox area. That's the way I wanted it. I wanted it longer. My father's like, um, do you really want it that long? So I cut it. Yeah, well, I just wanted to explain what I did. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this was as helpful as possible. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it in about a month. That's basically about it. I hope I can leave it in a month. I mean, all the time it took me to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.